Welcome back viewers, DigiDs, and everybody in between to the ultimate update to Roadfall. They've introduced a huge amount of challenge modes to the game, three per region, meaning there are 15 challenges that have been introduced. Today, we'll be taking a look at one of them, and known as the Great Siege. We will survive one long, brutal night of near endless waves of enemies with only a limited amount of gold at our disposal. This being only one of the 15 challenges available to us means that you can expect more content coming out on these because a little birdie told me a bald eagle to be specific is that these new mini modes are proven to be so difficult that even the veterans and pros of the game are struggling to complete them so we aim to do our best in turn and show what to do and certainly what not to do so come along for the great siege and see how long we survive now it wouldn't be much of a castle defense game without actually having our castle to start off with we're going to be built on our keep here for only three gold now if we take a look in the very bottom right as well that we have 400 gold or rather 397 gold now to spend to try to survive the night we're going to be upgrading the castle in very various ways getting new units getting new towers new walls and trying to see exactly the best way to try to survive the night but to start off with we will be upgrading the keep all the way to the maximum and take a look at the type of upgrades that it has available for us now we can get more damage and more health and more self-healing as a general kind of base upgrade that's all right we can deal something along the lines of having like thorns ability where we deal damage back to them we have more health in general or we can have 105% attack damage output for my character. And if I use my ability right when it refreshes, I get another cooldown reduction to it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and guess that we're going to have lots of enemies at our walls all exactly at the same time. So I want as much damage output and as much of my ability going off all at the same time. Because my ability is to swing my sword in one giant AoE and hurt several enemies all at the same time. So let's get the Assassin's upgrade. And now for 20 gold going on to the next maximum, what kind of upgrades do we have here? Do we want the attack damage and health and regeneration? Nah, that seems boring. My units can move faster and I can command them. We do have units and they'll be stronger, more durable. Ooh, that could be nice. All towers and wall upgrades that are currently available to you are immediately discounted from minus two for level one billions and minus five for level two billions. Oh, so I want to build everything once and then get this ability and then I can go ahead and upgrade everything for less. Now that seems really helpful. So we'll come back to this in just a moment. So we're going to need our walls, obviously, right off the start, but we don't want to upgrade them immediately because we that's right, we need the last level of the keep. Now, the barracks, we're going to want the knights. The knights are versatile warriors. They're really good against defending against ranged attacks, and they have a lot of health. Ooh, that's right. We have the capability to hire archers. But before we hire any archers, why don't we go ahead and take a look at what kind of enemies are attacking us so we can go ahead and prepare more aptly for it. We have 60 knights. 30 roly polies and 30 looking worm dudes coming in from the north side. So lots of melee units. We have 60 crossbowmen, 10 ogres, 10 siege equipment coming in from this east side. Wow, that is a lot of power damage and lots of crossbowmen. And on top of that, we have 30 little tank looking dudes and we have 10 more ogres coming on this bottom side, along with 30 witches and 30 other flying units on the south side. That are a lot of units. That isn't even proper English. That are be a lot of units. <laughs> we are being hit on every single side. So with that said though, we don't really have a lot of ranged enemies coming after us. 60 crossbowmen is a lot, but there's a lot more melee units coming up and grouping up on top of us more than anything. So to start off with, we are gonna want fire archers to try to go ahead and do splash damage to all these enemies. Double upgrade that immediately. But now that we have a lot of this already placed down on the ground to our disposal, we're gonna to wanna to be taking a look at upgrading this to the next level. Now, is there anything else that we can get here? We have a bunch of mills. There is another tower out there, but not a lot of it is going to be important to us. So let's go ahead and upgrade now to the level two keep level and get that castle up. Yes, yeah, so now everything should be a little bit cheaper for us. Everything should cost a little bit less. Upgrade the walls. Upgrade our knights for more just available units. Upgrade our fire oh, archers for oh, choice. I don't know we're going to want to be doing longbow archers. They have a very long range, but they're quite fragile. Great pick if you manage to keep them at a safe distance, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, since the last time we played, there have actually been two updates. The last update before this one is that now towers have four different choices on the pathing that the tower needs to be for your defense. You have something like the castle tower where it kind of hits more damage, just general more health, just a base upgrade to everything. You can do something like the sniper tower, longer range, more attack damage, slower attack though. The armor tower, something with more health, something that has a protective layer for five seconds after its first hit. And on top of something that even like the bunker tower, it has a increasing attack rate the more consecutive shots it has during the night. So that can be really good for an area that has lots of enemies. But being very front here on the very front line of these enemies, I think we want to do something along the lines of like, you know, it isn't going to be directly in front. These other towers are going to be hit first before this one. So I see the castle tower on this side to deal more damage to surrounding kind of enemies. 
the very front two, I want the armor tower. So they have a lot of health, kind of just focus on just trying to survive. Even here on this right-hand side, we're going to want another armor tower because a lot of these can be focused down. But right here in this perfect little corner, I think this would be a great position for a bunker tower. Attack cooldown decreases with each consecutive shot during the night. This is a very and crucial choke point for a lot of these enemies. Right here, even on this backside for another one. Right in this little pocket is where a lot of these knights, a lot of these roly polies are going to be striking right into the center of our heart of our kingdom. And we need to be prepared for that. Oh, I am running out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> is that enough words for you? This feels like I'm reading out of a textbook. <laughs> you know, what kind of more words do you need? I mean, hey, we're building up the defenses that we can here. And again, right here on the front line, what do we want to do? We're going to want the Fire Spire. 250 health and pours hot oil on enemies nearby on top of shooting, shooting single target explosions. So you know what? Fire Spire right there on, this, on the corner is going to be doing great damage. Maybe right here in the very front, we can do more fire spires. It's gonna be great holding back all these kind of melee units. Nothing's gonna be getting past us. We still have 82 gold left. Now, I think it's gonna be a great stopping point. We don't need any more upgrades. I feel we're doing fine. We have more than enough units. We have more than enough defenses. We could honestly probably get a little bit more here and there, but I'm not gonna hold it to it. I think that we are perfectly fine. I say we start the night, get started, and show all these guys what we're what we've been made for, what we've been building up for, and that we have the guts to survive. That we can show the veterans that it's really not that hard, right? We still have 82 gold left. What's the worst that can happen? We've got this. We've got this in the bag. Let's go. Oh my. <laughs> so right there use my ability my active ability hit a lots of them with lots of aoe damage don't want to send out my knights just yet because i feel like i can go ahead and take these guys out very well there we go there we go nice now i'm going to go ahead and activate my knights to go ahead on this front side towards the crossbowmen that are hitting us with lots of damage now oh i have to be careful though because remember the very first time i revive in the night i revive all of my units Otherwise, my units do not revive at all. Normally, the units would go ahead and respawn slowly over overnight, kind of go from the barracks, come back alive. But right now, they do not revive. So they will only come back the very first time I die. I need to be careful not to accidentally die too early. We're holding off the wave actually very well. They're kind of coming in a very streamlined fashion. I'm going to move over to this side so they start focusing down a different gate. Yeah, because that is a lot of them. They're still coming in a very streamlined fashion. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my knights on this side as well. Let's give them extra support. Yeah. Hold off that gate side. We have more enemies coming in. Oh wow, a lot of our archers on this side actually died. They must have died to the uh to the air units coming in. Yeah, our longbowmen took a lot of hits. There's only like two of them left on that side. My god. <laughs> well, okay, um, I want these, I want these these fire archers up close and personal right now they deal great damage against siege engines in general they are going after a towers no leave my tower alone leave the tower alone come on no 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 survive 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 come on knights get over there fire archers defeat them get that tower to survive come on yes yes there we go nice we have survived the first wave i mean i'm assuming that's not all of them right I'm assuming that's not all of them. Yep, there they are. <laughs> there is there is the next wave. Oh my. Okay, that is a lot going on. We have more of these wizards, like witches coming down on the south side. That is uh, something new. We have our our knights are going very front lines against these dudes spawn on the south side, just holding their ground. Uh oh. Oh geez. Uh, we have the crossbowmen coming on the on the east side. No, no, the crossbowmen are starting to focus on our fire archers. Pull back. Pull back. <laughs> Pull back, fire archers. Pull back to behind the very front lines. You need to start defending against these knights or else they're going to charge right on through the gate and destroy everything. Yeah, come on. While they're all getting grouped up like that. Oh, dear God. That is a lot. I'm going to go to lay, lay off my ability just like that. Ooh, <laughs> lots of damage. Nice. Nice. This might be a good time for me to actually go ahead and off myself. There we go. Revive. And now all of my units are reviving. Yes, they've just revived back on the map and they're going to surround them. There we go. Yes, get around them. Have we done it? Have we won the Knights? Is that it? Oh, that wasn't so difficult. Oh, we could have saved lots of gold with that. I bet we could have done even better. We could have even gotten a better bonus objective. What is our score? Our last high score when I was trying it a little before was only 1,200. Come on. Give mutator bonus gold bonus 1500 no restarts 151 1600 new record for a score that is very nice and got an achievement unlock all equipment at level 69 we have unlocked the last piece of equipment for this so now we have it to our availability anywhere we want Ooh, baby 1600 how many objectives did that get what Oh, we got the first objective of 1350, but you need a high score of 2400 if you want to get that. Oh my God. 
well hey maybe if you guys really liked the content if you guys liked what you saw we can always come back to this and try it again but we have 14 other challenges that we're going to be trying here on the channel so if you guys are excited to see the rest of those and see the other mutators and all different modes of all these different maps and regions make sure you go ahead and subscribe see more of the content to be coming out over the next week couple weeks any more here on the channel so thank you i'm still not really sure how to do any of these outros because i always ramble on for way too long but there's one thing that i can always promise you that i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and bye bye